Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I'm actually just in my last run for um, making my orc, uh, or my wa orc warrior. It's called orc, or orc axeman, I think, yeah. Orc axeman, um, like, the next level of his transmute, I think it's like red one or something. Red plus one. Um, but I've basically raised all my monsters, like every single monster on my, on my original, like, just you know, arena team and stuff to the, their maximum potential already, like so far. I'm kind of hitting the bottleneck of the potion, like I can't I can't get to the next um, the next level, like next stage of, of that. But um, I don't think I don't think it really matters that much because everybody's kind of stuck on the stage. My stupid pop-up stupid blue stacks. I've been running a lot of games in the background, so I have like Nox, Blue Stacks, and KO Player on at the same time. Holy shit, this is so annoying. I really gotta turn that off. Anyways, that's 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 kind of besides the point. Um, yeah, I think yeah, this is my last mushroom. All right. I'm really really excited for the the new update because I think like it has a lot of like it has the potential to bring the game back to life I think so I'm I'm kind of waiting for that uh, really really hyped about it it's gonna be on the 25th which is three days from now so I'm gonna I'm gonna transmute this guy all right he's red plus one now um, my next my next like little things that I want to do is actually get these two to all to plus four and they're, they're gonna be part of my raid comp, like my original raid comp. And I'm gonna test out a fifth unit. I'm gonna take out my succubus, because I've basically only been using my succubus for the crit rate buff. I mean, she's magical damage, which actually doesn't do that much um, against the raid buff, because I'm, I'm running a triple armor break comp, so I need to run like a full physical comp if I wanna do the most damage possible. I think even with, like right now, if I run my death knight, I actually have higher damage than if I run my succubus. So that's that's actually pretty bad because my Death Knight has no like his passive skill is pretty much 100% useless against the boss. So I was thinking of running. Um, there's three potential monsters that I want to run. One is the Fire Archer, which probably is my most like I'm probably most likely to raise this this one because uh, because he's he's already three star. But there's also another another reason why I want to raise some of the other ones. Um, there's him. There's the the uh, where, where is it? The the ice golem, because he's he's also like a physical damage attacker, and he has attack speed buff. Bas basically, this lasts like all the time. Um, and then the the last unit is the fawn, which uh, fawn also has an attack speed buff, but it only lasts 15 seconds, and the cool time is uh, cooldown time is 15. Oh, it lasts 10 seconds. The cooldown time is 15 seconds. So I'll have five. Basically, I'll have um, five seconds without the attack speed buff, and but he does have a stronger attack speed buff. But I think if you do the math, um, the ice skull actually overall will increase your your DPS more than more than this buff. But the other really good thing about him is he has a really really strong um, armor ignore nuke, and he has this that thing that increases his skill gauge. So he's gonna be nuking quite a lot. Um, and the good thing is you can buy him from a skill battle point, so it should be easy to get him to four stars. Well, it's not going to be easy, but it's po it's going to be possible to get him to four stars. It's it's like right now it's impossible for me to get um, get the fire archer to four stars. Like there's there's really no way for me to do that because he's not farmable anywhere, and I I can only get him through through summons. So it's it's kind of bad. Um, Another potential unit is to run just another like really hard hitting damage dealer, um, something like something like this, like the cougar. He doesn't have any buff that increases his team's damage, but he has just buffs for himself basically. Like he does high physical damage. Um, he has really high attack. Like if you, if you look at his stats, he's just he has a lot of attack, um, and he buffs himself for for physical damage, and then. He does more damage to enemies with buffs, 60% more, but the boss doesn't really have buffs. But it's still alright, because he's still going to be doing a lot of damage. And he also increases his own crit rate, so he's going to have more crit rate. Um, I think this is pretty high, pretty high base crit rate. It would have been nice if if it was, like, you know, if it was allies crit rate, but there doesn't exist, a, like, there, there's no monster that increases um, allies crit rate that is physical, like, they're all magical monsters. 
The only monsters that increase crit rate, I think, are are her, her, and like there's a death knight, but his his crit rate buff only activates when when you kill something, which is useless against the boss because it doesn't actually like you can't kill the boss. Um. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. That's all the potential units I can use. I'm still thinking of who to use as, as my last unit for for raids. I'm gonna see if there's a raid boss up so I can kind of show you guys what's what I what I mean right now. But I think most of you have seen it before. All right, which one should I hit? Level 15. Oh, this is a level 15 boss. That's uh, that's interesting. All right, let's let's try the level 15 boss. But I I don't think I'm gonna kill him. I don't think people are gonna be able to kill him. Alright, I'm gonna hit him just for fun. I'm gonna waste 12 daggers, fuck it. Um, Alright, so this is what I'm running right now. So I'm just running my Death Knight for another damage dealer. I'm, I'm kind of sacrificing the crit buff for my whole team, but I... Actually, no, I still think... I still think buffs are better, so I, I might still raise the fawn. Um, but the Archer also has a really nice buff that increases all allies' physical damage. That, that could be nice as well. But anyways, I'm gonna I'm gonna go in. All right, I'm gonna wait for my orc to armor break the second time before I I pop my my Owen. Yeah, he has so many bars of HP. All right, wait for it, wait for it. All right, my Lara's gonna buff now. Now activate Owen. All right, she's a, she's gonna buff, and then my orc's gonna do the armor break. All right, and then here comes the damage, and then Owen does her her two buffs right now, like her two nukes right now while she, while she has the buff, and while the boss has armor break. This is my best uh, raid strategy, I think. Man, this level 15 boss is pretty strong. <laughs> Alright, I got it to 94 bars, which is, I think, over 50%. Yeah, that was, that was, uh, that was pretty rough. Alright, um... Yeah, so that's that's basically what I'm talking about. But the, the thing is, the Death Knight doesn't actually do anything for my team at all. So that's that's kind of the problem. I'm just working on a strong raid comp so I can uh, so I can uh, snipe them snipe them boxes and stuff. I think the boxes are still useful because I can use the red gear to to reforge a lot of my gear. All right, so who do we hit? Can I beat this guy? I think I might be able to beat this guy. I wish my Dell was four stars, to be honest. My my Arena is very very close to five stars. Wait, how does he have so much more attack power than me? I have all four stars as well. I think it's just the the difference between uh. Oh, maybe his hero has a lot better gear. I need my dragon and nuke now. This will kill his Adele. What? Did she like evade it or some shit? That was bullshit. All right, I'm fucked. Fire her in. I think maybe my problem is I'm still using Owen when it's clearly Zillion meta time. God damn it. Alright. How did that not kill Owen? Or not Owen, um, how does that not kill his Adele? I, I don't understand. It didn't do any damage. I think it got cancelled or some shit. Like, I think the skill got cancelled. Which is pretty sad. Alright, um... Let's do our, let's do our thing. Let's do our time rift. I think it's luckier if I do time rift first, and then do the, uh... Do the other thing. If I do my time rift first, wait. I need to. I need to put in a tank. Yeah, 
You know, I could also try something. I could try double armor break comp for Rita, and then take out my Succubus. It might just work. Because, I mean, nobody's using, like, like the Dark Knight or Stone Golem or anything for Arena anyways. They, they all use Adele or Kurtz or something like that. So it doesn't matter if I'm, if I'm full physical. And it's hard to counter because if you're full physical, it's harder to counter than if you're full magic. And I can still just run Arin for the attack buff. No, I should do no RN. No, no, no heals. No heal comp. Holy shit, am I gonna die? What are you doing, RN? She's still dancing. I think she's already dead. That's, that's actually pretty funny. She's already dead. How did I get melted just now? I think. No, I still think using dragon is better here. Ah, uh, it's that anti healing buff. Thing's really annoying. Wait, how do they have so many weird buffs? I don't I don't remember Ashley having an anti-healing buff. Yeah, he didn't evade that. I think he evaded it last time. That's why it took forever for for my dragon to actually kill him. It might be nice if I have something that could like hit the backline in my comps. That would be actually pretty awesome. If I can kill their backline really fast. All right, it's time. It's time to kill the cock. We're going. We're going full damage this time. We don't need no heals. We just need. We just need DPS all the way. I'm actually gonna buff now because um, because I'm probably not gonna have a chance to to buff during the second armor break. He's gonna die too fast. One hundred and fifty crystals. Look at look at this shit. So good. Don't you guys just love this event? Oh shit! I forgot to buff. Rip. Rip my damage. I don't know, is Zelene really stronger in the arena? I'll switch to Zelene next fight and then we'll, we'll do arena test. See if he's really, really all that good. I'm actually really confused, like... I'll do the tower first. Oh wait, shit, I forgot to buy another try. This is always worth it, because it only costs 70. And you, you get way more shit than that. 
You even have a chance to get like twice, more than twice the uh, amount of diamonds back, you know? And if you, even if you don't, you still get at least 100 energy, which is like much better than buying energy. So you win either way, it's like it's, it's better either way. Ah, fuck, I didn't buff. See, 150. So I actually get more for buying that try. What was I gonna? Oh yeah, I was gonna. Oh wait, I need to. I need to do the tower first. Before I do this, I need to. Actually, wait. Let's let's switch it right now. My Zelene's only plus one. I, I still need to get get him to plus two. It's gonna cost me. Uh, it's gonna take six, seven more. Alright, today's the day I get that vampire. I'm so close, I think. I just need to actually get him to spawn one more time. Actually, no, 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 no. I need him to spawn three more times. So I, I actually do need to be pretty lucky. Um, Alright, I'm using Zelene now. Damn, he didn't spawn. Alright, that's strike one. Maybe Zelene's bad luck. I wish I was still able to raise my Death Knight to like 4 stars and stuff. Cause he's still a really really strong unit. I think I spawned him. Nice. Perfect. I just need to get like two more lucky boxes or something like that, and then I can. And then it'll give me like two pieces for free. Basically. I think it's the armor break, like the the 90% armor break that makes Zelene so strong. But then there's no point of using the dragon if I'm using Zelene. God damn it, I didn't get anything. No box drop, no no pieces, no nothing. It's literally been a month of like just me trying to get this vampire. Okay, maybe it's not that long. It's been two weeks, I think. Holy shit, it was long. Well, the good thing is I still have one more chance to get him. If he drops like a piece plus a lucky box right now, it'd be perfect. Yeah, he dies so fast because like th that death knight buff is insane. Oh my god, what is this bullshit? Alright, last try.
Remember when I was farming the Zenith Queen? It was like... It was pretty easy, like, every day I would get, like, you know, at least two pieces. But it's, it's so hard now. Maybe I was really lucky, I think, I think... I think maybe I was just really, really lucky and that was why I was able to... I was able to get all the pieces. Because I've, I've heard some stories of people that have been farming for, um... The whole time and still don't have the Zenith Queen, like, farming every single day. Oh shit, shit, shit. I almost went into the wrong level. That would have sucked. I wonder if you go in a level and then you just exit. What would happen? Wonder if you can exploit this. Like, turn off your internet while you're farming. Yeah, this is a delay nuke. That's what it looks like. Holy shit, my horrible, horrible luck. Alright, we're gonna try one more fight with Zelene in the arena. Wait, what? Someone, someone, someone fucked me. Um. Wait, so what comp should I use? Do I still use my Death Knight? Yeah, let's try using my Zelene and my Death Knight. That might actually be pretty strong. It's too bad I can't get him to 4 stars or anything. To find someone strong and but not like full 6 star team. I think this looks reasonable. This doesn't look too strong actually, it looks... It really doesn't look that strong. Yeah, I want to see if I can like, I can like burst him down. See if I I can armor break him and then have my Death Knight nuke at the same time. His tank will fall really fast. He's using Owen. Oh shit! She reduced my recovery. But I, I still have my damage mitigation. I don't know how that was better, like, it made no difference. <laughs> they still do this around the same amount of damage, and I got wrecked, god damn it. Um, oh wait, I should, I should just... I should just accept my fate. Bad. I don't I don't get how that was better. I think it's because my Adele's three star, like all my problems come from my tank, my main tank being only three stars. Alright, I got some boxes and then I also have my daily summon. I think these are pretty good. They give they give daggers, which are are really nice. Oh, tomorrow there's gonna be an update that changes the the system um, the of using daggers and stuff. I think if you win, it only costs five. You now, which is like really good. But if you if you lose, it still costs six. All right, the ritual is to do one free summon, and then do this. All right, it's uh, it's this spider thingy. We're, we're almost there. Just one more piece. I think she could be nice. She might be a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice if you run like a full anti-magic comp. If they're like full magic, you might be. She might might be a pretty good backline killer. Um, what am I going? What was I going? Oh yeah, I was going to open the boxes. Shit, I forgot to open. I forgot to get them from here. Why can't they just go straight into inventory? Seriously? These skill boxes are really good. They actually give give useful shit. Nice one day da tiny dagger pouch. I've been getting one tiny dagger pouch for like past four days. 
Bugbear of Blessed Stone. It's kind of uh, it's kind of useless, but fuck it. Who cares? All right, so that is um, that's it. That's the end of the video. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.